So we go live in three, two. We are live in Mazatlan, Mexico, and today we're talking about the perfect game time snack, karage. It's Japanese style crunchy fried chicken. It's garlicky. It's gingery. It's umami y. You're going to love it. And for our spicy, aggressive, offensive lineup, we've got togoroshi, wasabi, Japanese pepper, chili crisp, and lemon. Don't mess with those guys, they're bringing the heat. And today's starring quarterback is chicken. But don't you worry, because I have a feeling we're going to be pulling those veggies off the bench. And tonight, we have an extra special performance from a lot of horchata. So make sure you stick around for tonight's halftime show. You, and you, and you, make sure you hit like and subscribe if you like this show, if you like me, if you like this food, and you like a lot of horchata. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start the marinade, and today I'm actually going to do a vegetarian version as well. And this marinade is so super simple, it's gonna be really easy and you'll see why. So we're gonna start with some sake. One tablespoon of mirin. So I'm using a really nice dark soy that's been aged. Um, you don't have to go this far um, and be this extra for this particular recipe, but because I like making a lot of Chinese, Japanese food, I use soy sauce a lot, and so I decided to go ahead and splurge for it. But, you know, the store brand Kikomins is actually really good, so I highly recommended that. And this is three tablespoons of soy. All right, and now I have some fresh ginger. And that's it. Marinade is ready to go. This is a skinless, boneless chicken thigh. And I'm just gonna cut this into maybe two inch, one and a half inch pieces, and then just throw it into the marinade. Easy peasy. You can use um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts as well, um, if you're not into the thighs. But I think the thighs have a lot more flavor. Okay, and so these are just chicken wings. I separated the, the drumettes from the middle section and I'm just gonna throw these in as well. And then I will just give everything a nice little toss in the marinade. And the thing about the marinade, so I also wanted to see how long and how short I could get away with this marinade. What I normally tell people whenever I'm doing a marinade situation is, if you have 30 minutes, 30 minutes in a marinade is gonna give you a lot more flavor than if you just salt and pepper it. So if that's all you have, definitely do the 30 minutes. But I also feel like with this marinade, it can go between eight and 12 hours is sort of like the optimal range. And you can taste the garlic and the ginger and all of the other ingredients. So that is the best amount of time. So I'm gonna let this sit while I make the veggie sitch. Now for the veggie portion of this, you can use whatever sturdy vegetable you like. Um, these were some squash that I saw at the market yesterday and I really liked them. This is just a summer squash and then this is uh, called a kashaw and it's pretty common here in Mexico, although they typically use it for either candied or sweet preparations and actually also beverages. Um, but I like it because it takes a lot of cooking before it gets soft. So it's the perfect squash for a fried application because it can sit in the oil for a bit and it's not gonna fall apart on you. So you can either do little rings or I, I think I may attempt to see if I can make a little kind of uh, drum et sort of sitch. And then we'll just do little rings of this one. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oops. <laughs> Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Normally, I like to weigh out my flour, but this is not a baked recipe, so we can get away with just a normal measurement. The weight really doesn't matter in this. Uh, the ratio that I'm using is 50% flour, 50% uh, potato starch. I did experiments with cornstarch, potato starch, and flour, and ratios and, and different combinations. And the one that I liked best was potato starch and just regular all-purpose flour. If you watched the other fried chicken video that I did, You'll remember that um, a lot of the flavor and a lot of the seasoning was in the crust. This is very different. Um, this crust is a lot thinner and there's no egg uh, in the as we dredge it. So it doesn't take as much seasoning because that soy sauce is really powerfully salty. So it does need a little bit of salt. So we're gonna put one teaspoon of salt in here and then a teaspoon of pepper. We're gonna start with the veggies. And so I'm just going to take some of this and toss it into our potato mixture. And you do wanna make sure that you get it nicely evenly coated. And we're gonna do a double fry. And this is something that is very common and it really helps you get the, the right texture. So it's a super, super crispy exterior but the inside is very tender and fully cooked. And the way that that works is you do a double fry. The first fry is at 300 degrees for about four minutes. And the second fry is up to 375 for about a minute to 90 seconds, depending on the size of the chicken. All right, so now we're gonna do exactly the same thing with the chicken. Pro tip, whenever you fry, make sure you save your empty oil bottles because after the oil cools, if you're not gonna fry anymore or when you're done and you wanna get rid of it, use a funnel and pour it back in the bottle and then you can get rid of it. This plate looks so beautiful and it smells so incredibly delicious and I can't wait to get in here. I'm gonna do chicken by itself first. That double fry is amazing. The color is perfect. The texture on the inside is amazing. That little togoroshi has like a little bit of like a flavor bomb on the outside. And then you get like the kind of sweet and salty umami of the soy and the ginger and a little bit of the garlic. It's not like really super aggressive. Okay. Now, super excited about this Kewpie wasabi sitch. 
Mm. Mm. If you like wasabi and mayo, definitely you have to do this. All right, I'm gonna go in for my little veg stitch and I'm just gonna load this one up with everything because why not? Mm. For a fried veg, this particular shape, because it's a little bit bigger, it really holds onto its shape really well. It's very tender on the inside. The crust is really, really nice. And that wasabi mayo and the, the garlic chili crisp, amazing. Oh my God. You need to make this. Actually, and don't wait until you have a party, just make it for yourself and have your own little private party like I'm go going to. Wow, that was an amazing game. Make sure that if you like this recipe, if you like this game, if you wanna see more, you hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as there's another Sweet Heat episode.